Have you ever taken a moment to really look at a paper clip? It's such a small, simple object, often tossed in drawers, forgotten at the bottom of bags, or used without a second thought. But this unassuming piece of bent wire holds a fascinating story behind its design. Today we're diving deep into why paper clips are designed the way they are. You might be surprised at just how much thought, history, and engineering went into this seemingly basic tool. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. At first glance, a standard paperclip, what most of us know as the gem-style paperclip, is just a double loop of wire, tightly coiled into a sort of oval shape. But its design is far more intentional than it seems. The shape is specifically engineered to use the tension in the metal wire to hold sheets of paper together without tearing or damaging them. When you slide a stack of papers into a paper clip, the curved wire creates opposing forces that grip the papers from both sides. This tension allows the paper clip to hold multiple sheets in place while remaining easy to remove and reuse. It's a perfect balance of pressure and convenience, no glue, no staples, no damage. Just a beautifully simple mechanism that works with friction and flexibility. The story of the paper clip's design begins in the late 19th century. Contrary to popular belief, the modern paper clip was not invented by one single person, nor was it a completely novel idea. Before the familiar design we use today, inventors had tried a variety of ways to hold papers together. Pins were common, as were ribbons and wax seals. But these methods weren't ideal. Pins could be dangerous, seals were time-consuming, and ribbons were a hassle. In the 1860s and onward, inventors started experimenting with wire to create reusable, non-damaging paper fasteners. That led to an explosion of patents and designs, many of which look downright strange today, some resembling spirals, arrows, or even tiny spring-loaded jaws. The paperclip as we know it, the gem paperclip, first appeared around the 1890s, but interestingly, no one officially patented that specific design. The gem manufacturing company in Britain is credited with popularizing it, which is why it's called the Gem Paperclip, but the company never filed for a patent on the design itself. That might be because it was considered too simple to patent, or perhaps it had already entered public use. What's notable is how well the Gem Paperclip outperformed its competitors. With its dual loop construction, it provided better grip, didn't tangle easily, and could be manufactured efficiently. Over time, it naturally became the industry standard, outlasting more than 50 other clip designs that briefly tried to compete. So what exactly makes the gem design so effective? One reason is its use of torsion and elasticity. When you clip papers together, the wire bends slightly, storing elastic potential energy. This energy creates the pressure needed to keep the papers in place. The design is also symmetrical, which distributes this pressure evenly, avoiding paper tears or slippage. The rounded corners and smooth curves prevent snagging and make it easy to slide the clip on or off without damaging the pages. And because it uses a single piece of bent wire, it's incredibly cheap to manufacture and virtually never breaks in typical use. Another interesting factor in the gem paper clip's dominance is its versatility. While originally designed to clip paper, people quickly found other creative uses for them. Paper clips have served as bookmarks, SIM card ejectors, reset tools for electronics, hairpins in a pinch, and even makeshift lockpicks. Their simple shape makes them endlessly adaptable. This multi-purpose utility, combined with the ease of mass production, 
has made paper clips a staple in offices, homes, and schools around the world for more than a century. But did you know that the paper clip also has cultural significance? During World War II, Norwegians wore paper clips on their lapels as a symbol of resistance against Nazi occupation. The paperclip was chosen because of its association with Norwegian inventor Johan Vehler, who was wrongly credited with inventing the paperclip for many years. While his version wasn't quite the same as the gem design, the myth persisted, and the paperclip became a quiet symbol of unity and defiance. Even today, the image of a paperclip continues to represent connection and simplicity in subtle but meaningful ways. Over the years, the paperclip has seen some variation. Different shapes have been tried, such as triangular clips, butterfly clips, and plastic-coated clips in bright colors. Some designs aim to reduce slippage or add aesthetic flair, but none have managed to unseat the gem clip as the default. Its form factor is just too efficient. It's one of those rare inventions that got things right almost from the very start. While materials have improved slightly and manufacturing has become more precise, the basic structure has remained unchanged for over 100 years. In fact, the simplicity of the paperclip makes it a perfect example of what engineers call elegant design, a solution that's minimal, cost-effective, and functionally complete. There's a sort of poetry to it. A single piece of wire bent just so can perform its task with no moving parts, no energy input, and no instructions needed. It's universally understandable, entirely intuitive, and remarkably reliable. In an age of high-tech gadgets and digital workflows, the humble paperclip continues to hold its ground, a quiet, enduring presence in our daily lives. So the next time you pick up a paper clip, take a moment to appreciate the brilliance hidden in its curves. It's not just a piece of wire. It's the result of decades of experimentation, a symbol of resilience, and a triumph of design thinking. While it may never get the headlines or the fanfare, the paper clip is a reminder that even the smallest tools can be marvels of innovation. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.